Love 3 Blue 1 Brown Animations? Learn how to create your own in Python in 10 minutes learning the best way of combining your love for math and programming. Monim stands for Mathematical Animation Engine and was created by Grant Sanderson to produce high-precision math animation videos. The main objective of the 3B1B channel in this Python library is to complement traditional textbook-based math learning with visual intuition. Currently, there are two versions of Monium, the original library created by Grant and the fourth version maintained by the Monium community. We will be using the community version in this post since it is better maintained, tested, and, most importantly, properly documented. Monium was created as a bridge between the FMPEG video encoding engine and Python. Since you can't communicate built-in Python data structures to FMPEG, Monium implements several mathematical object representation and animation classes. These classes are generally divided into three categories, scene, mob object, and animation. To explain these concepts more clearly, let's create our very first animation. After you have installed Monium and saved the above code in a script like scenes.py, run the following command, and you should get this output. Congratulations! You just made your very first animation. Here is the breakdown of this CLI command. Adding Pdmonim will enable you to play the video as soon as it is compiled. Combining it with QH means rendering it in high quality. There are four quality levels, low, L, medium, M, high, H, and 4K, K, with increasing render time. If you want a GIF version of the animation, add I after PQH. Let's understand the above animation by analyzing the code line by line. After importing Omanium content in the first line, we are defining a scene class with a construct method. This is the general formula of creating a single animation. You define a custom class that inherits from the scene class and has a construct method. Scene class is the higher level building block of Mani, which connects all related animations and objects into a single structure. Next, we create two objects, a star and a circle, that belong to a mobject class, mathematical object. This mobject class is a base data structure for many built-in mobjects like geometric shapes, vectors, coordinate systems, etc. Basically, everything that is not a scene in animation is a mob. Then, we have the animation classes. In the above example, we are using three of them, fade in, transform and fade out. All built-in animation classes in Monium accept mobjects as arguments and apply various effects to them. For example, transform accepts two mobjects and plays out a smooth animation that converts the first one to the other. Every time you create an animation, you have to wrap it inside the play function so that they are rendered on the screen. Lastly, we have the constants like red, blue, yellow, pi, tau, etc. These are part of the constants module of Monium and encode commonly used values as variables and are imported in the first line of the snip. Monium uses numpy arrays to represent the screen in x, y, z coordinates. Z will stay zero as long as you are animating in the 2D space. To shift an object a single unit in either X or Y direction, you can use constants left, right, up and down. As an example, we will draw four objects at different locations in the screen and place a dot at the origin for reference. This is the output you will get. You can save this and run as you wish, since left, right, etc. variables are numpy arrays. They allow numeric operations that allow scaling them like above. There are also other built-in location variables like ul, up plus left, dr, down plus right, etc. In the above snippet, we are using the shift method of the objects by passing their new coordinate location. Since shift is only a function, the actual shifting does not get animated. To display objects that aren't animated, we use the add method. What if we wanted to animate that shifting motion? Well, you can change shift after the animate function like so. In fact, with animate method, you can animate almost any type of change to a mobject. For example, mobjects have several methods that start with set underscore that change their attributes. Here is an example. Animating functions. Let's get a bit more serious and learn how to draw functions and animate their creation. From now on, I will be using JupyterLab and its percent monium cell magic to render the monium output. The syntax is the same as the CLI interface. To draw 2D axes like in Matplotlib, call the axis class with the desired arguments. Next, we are using the get underscore graph method, passing the function we want to draw. This built-in method only accepts single variable functions that return a one-to-one -one mapping between X and Y. In the above example, 
we are drawing the graph of sin 1 slash x. Thanks for watching please subscribe and also please check the link in description it will be really help for you and for me too.